The driver's seat is presented by Ray Reese Volkswagen and Portland's Hyundai. Portland's number one VW dealer and Portland's newest Hyundai dealer. Now let's climb into the driver's seat on Miles Around Television. In our driver's seat, it's the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty. And there's somebody on this show that loves their big diesel trucks. And there's a good reason they're going to love this F-250. Now, Ford is a company that's built its reputation on trucks. It's a company that is the backbone of America, they like to say, on their trucks. And the diesel is the top of the line, especially this F-250 Super Duty. Now, 1948, we saw the F-1, 2, and 3 come out from Ford, and they've gone uphill ever since then. Climbing, pulling, everything to do with these trucks has made this company strong. Well, strength is definitely going to be one of the first words that comes to the top of the minds of anyone discussing the Super Duty truck from Ford. Now, the F-Series lineup has been around for years, and it's been one of the best-selling vehicles ever. And the reason why my old 80s F-250 lasts forever are the same things that come in this new truck. They're built for the guy who needs a tough truck. <laughs> Underneath the hood of the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty, you'll find a 6.4 liter engine, and this is a twin turbo diesel engine. Now, when I was a paramedic in Multnomah County, we used to drive turbo diesel engines in our ambulances, and one thing I learned from that experience is Ford really know their way around a diesel turbo. Before we get much farther into our review of this, the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty, I want to jout out some numbers to you. One is the horsepower, 350. The other is the torque, 650 pounds feet of torque is a tremendous number. It gives this truck a huge payload and towing capacity. And with the common rail fuel system that has PZO electronic fuel injectors, again, jargon about diesels, it has the ability to give you great fuel mileage and not that big black soot mark that comes out of the rear end of most diesels, including my old GMC. Now, the thing about these trucks and the way that they are evidently adjustable as far as the way you can order them, you can order them in crew cabs, regular cabs, long box, regular box, it doesn't matter for me to tell you what the load capacity or the towing capacity is. It comes down to three simple things lots of power, great fuel economy, and less emissions. Everything somebody wants in their new Ford truck. Each week I try to come up with something a little different about the cars or trucks that we test as far as the suspension and what matters to you, the potential owner or the owner that wants to know a little more. These trucks are no different. You know, for years Ford had in their heavy duty applications leaf springs, a large spring that kept the suspension up and gave it great payload capacity. Well, Ford did something different in these new trucks. They put coil springs in the front, and they designed it so you can get this great new turning radius. You know, my father-in-law has the last of the leaf spring trucks, and though it's a great truck and has huge capacities that can do just about anything, it takes about a country mile to get the thing turned around in a parking lot when you're down there getting a load of lumber. These new coil front suspensions, and especially applied to this particular truck, give this truck everyday usability, not only for capacity, for also getting it in and out of parking structures. And Another thing I have to say is the ride. Yeah, it's a little jouncy compared to the F-150 that is designed to be that ground pounder or that street truck. This truck, for a heavy-duty application, actually has a great ride, and I think that's very important to you, the potential buyer. <laughs> And I just made a joke at the front end of this uh, review of the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty that this was a big truck for small people. Well, they've thought about small people when they designed the back end of this truck. In fact, it has a pull-out step in it that'll take 350 pounds, has a non-slip surface in it, and also give you a pole to haul yourself up in the back. Now, small guys like me get to drive big trucks like this. Well, Nick is right. There are a lot of things on this particular truck, the F-250 Super Duty, that do make it usable for everyday people. That tailgate is an ingenious system made so you can get in and out of the box without banging your knees on the tailgate or getting dirty while you do it, and I love it. But let's get down to the signature, the exterior of the F-250. You know, each of the big three, there's Ford, Chevy, and Dodge, have their own individual styling. You know, Everyone likes one or the other. It's always been a battle of Ford people, whether their truck is better than the Chevy or the Dodge guy is better than both of them. But when it comes to signatures on the front, I love the Super Duty. I love this big chrome grill. I love the manly look and the big square coming right at you attitude. For me, the best looking truck of the three.
Jumping into the cab of the new Ford F-250 Super Duty, you're greeted by an interior that is majorly different than most trucks have been for several decades. It is like a Lincoln Town Car. Navigation systems, great steering positions. You know, when you have an array of gauges that you can actually see, it's something that, well, truck buyers might not be used to. And these great bucket seats, though comfortable, and I'd take a bench seat if you had my money, are definitely above and beyond what most truck buyers are ever looking for. Now, when you talk about adjustability, you're looking at mirrors that slide in and out. You're talking about a tilt and telescopic wheel. And, of course, heated seats in a pickup truck. It all kind of goes against the work ethic of what an F-250 is supposed to be. But in today's market, that's what the buyers want. And so that's what Ford built. Taking a look at the interior of the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty, there's a couple of things on the inside that I do not miss. First of all, the bench seats in the back fold up to allow you to put some cargo that you want to keep out of the elements in the back of this truck. There's also the rear sliding glass window that can be controlled from the driver's position. And of course, there's the electrical auxiliary switches for the tow package. Now, this really means that this is a well-rounded truck that allows people to use it for many different uses. <laughs> Now is the time in the program where we give you our two ups and one down, our overview of this, the 2008 Ford Super Duty F-250. Now, for me, my two ups are pretty clear. One is going to be the drive of the new coil suspension. Though it's a little porpoisey, and what I mean is the truck kind of goes like this going down the freeway. All you have to do is put a couple bags of concrete in the back. It'll drive great for a heavy duty application. My other up is going to be that new interior. Now, for me, pickup trucks are supposed to have a column shift and a bench seat. This is more of a cowboy Cadillac, and I can understand why someone would want that. But for me, all the new attributes, such as a great sound system, navigation, and really comfy, heated, by the way, seats, really do take this truck to another level. When it comes to my down for this particular truck, it's really about the combination we tested. For me, 50 plus grand is not going to be spent on a short box. Now, if you're a short box fan or you don't need a 25 foot truck, you're going to say, Dennis, you're crazy. But for me, I'm only going to spend 50 grand on a heavy duty application that then can actually have an eight foot box and four full doors. That withstanding, this is still a great truck. That's my two ups and one down. My two ups and one down for the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty start underneath the hood with that twin turbo diesel engine. Now, I've only driven this vehicle on road and I haven't driven it fully loaded or with anything behind it. And I'll tell you, on road, and completely empty back there. It had so much power, it was kind of frightening. Load it up, put a trailer on the back, and I'm sure you'll be surprised at how well this vehicle handles it. My other up for this vehicle is the absolute extra necessities that it comes with. Things like these electronic mirrors that extend on the sides, the step in the back, and also the electric slider inside the cab that allows you to open at the back to allow fresh air in or to grab things from in the bed. That's a really nice piece of extra on this vehicle. Now, when Ford designed their vehicles, they're looking to add things all the time to make them well wanted by the customers who are going to buy them. Add those extras and you do something over the competition. My down is the interior. It's so wide on the inside it really begs for a third seat in the front row. I think there's some wasted space there with all that width. I would have hoped they would have done some more on the inside to give you extra seating and extra space. And that's our complete review for the 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty. <laughs> 2008 Ford F-250 Super Duty Lariat 4x4 comes standard with a 6.4 liter V8 diesel and a 5-speed automatic transmission. Its base price is $34,755 with an as-tested price of $51,040. Because of the vehicle's weight rating, there is no city or miles per gallon EPA rating. The driver's seat is brought to you by Ray Rees Volkswagen. Family owned and specializing in Volkswagens for over 15 years and proudly presenting the all-new Portland Hyundai. Check them out at rayreese.com.